In this video, we will show you how to add Dollar's facial capture to a Unity project based on motion capture. You can download the completed project in the video description. You need to download the latest version of Dollar's mocap main program and the Unity plugin. Our demonstration will be based on the previous motion capture project, which you can download here. If you don't know how to add Dollar's mocap to a Unity project, you can check out our related videos. We have downloaded the required files, including the Dollar's mocap main program, Unity plugin, and previous motion capture project. Let's unzip the project and open it in Unity. After opening the project, we drag the downloaded plugin into the project. Note that we recommend backing up your project before doing this step. Let's import the new plugin and run the project to confirm that motion capture is working properly. Then we select the model that needs to add face capture. Close unnecessary components. This is the motion capture component we added before. We add the face cap controller component to the model. Just like what we do in the motion capture project, we will set the SRC variable with the dollars MO cap prefab in the scene. Next there are two arrays, one for specifying the meshes of the face and the other for specifying the corresponding relationship between facial capture expressions and blend shapes in the face meshes. In this VRM model, the mesh of the face is named face, where we can see the blend shapes of facial capture. So we specify the length of both arrays as one and then drag face into the first array. Then we right click on a blank space in the project, select create, dollars, face capture mappings in the menu that appears, and specify the corresponding relationship between facial capture expressions and blend shapes in this file. From is the name of the facial capture expression, and to is the name of the blend shape. We check the blend shapes in face and find that except for the first letter being lowercase, the blend shape name is the same as the to item by default. So we change the first letter of to item to lowercase. Note that do not modify the strings in the from items. Tongue out and below can be ignored. Back to the first one, it's a bit obscured here, so we can drag it to the second one, modify it, and then drag it back to the first one to keep the original order unchanged. Then we drag this mapping file to the second array. Open the dollars mocap main program. You can click this button to turn facial capture on or off. Before starting facial capture, we recommend doing a calibration. Relax your face and look straight ahead during calibration. After calibration is complete, you can start facial capture. You can adjust the strength of facial capture expressions and choose a dominant eye here. There are more detailed instructions about these on the Dollars Mocap website. Let's run the project to see the result. You can see that Dollar's mocap recognizes eye movement, but the avatar's eyes don't move. Let's check the blend shapes in face. We can find that blend shapes related to eye movement are not working. So we add an eye controller component to this model to control eye movement. Fill the SRC variable with the $MO cap prefab in the scene. 
fill in the bones of the eyes in the left eye and right eye column. In this VRM model, they are these two bones. Fill them in their corresponding positions. The following two items are used to specify the axes for horizontal and vertical rotation of the eyeballs. In this model, the y-axis is used for horizontal rotation and the x-axis for vertical rotation. The same applies to the right eye. Therefore, we will change the horizontal axis to y-axis and keep the default x-axis for vertical direction. The next two items are used to specify the maximum angles for outward and upward rotation of the left eye. For the left eye of this model, a suitable angle for outward rotation is minus 12 degrees, and the same goes for upward rotation. We fill in minus 12 degrees here. Next are the maximum angles for outward and upward rotation of the right eye. The outward angle is 12 degrees, and the upward angle is minus 12 degrees. We fill in 12 degrees and minus 12 degrees respectively. Run the project again, we can see that the eyeballs rotate normally. In this way, we have added face capture to this VRM model. Next, let's take a look at this model in the Unity official project which you can download here. After selecting its facial mesh, we can see that its jaw open consists of two blend shapes. Jaw open and tongue jaw open. This means we need to use the same face capture expression to drive two blend shapes. Let's add a face cap controller component to it. Drag dollars mo cap into SRC. Then, in the mesh array, we need to add head twice. We also need two mapping files to map the values of jaw open face capture expression to jaw open and tongue underscore jaw open blend shapes respectively. We name these two mapping files head and tongue. For simplicity, we only modify the mapping of jaw open. We add these two mapping files to the component. Since we have only modified the mapping in head, we can see that the avatar's tongue does not move with the jaw. So we fill in tongue underscore jaw open in the mapping file for tongue. When running the project, we will find that the avatar's tongue moves with the jaw. Note that the length of these two arrays should be the same, and their order should correspond one-to-one. -one. If there are unused face capture expressions in the mapping, they can be kept as default values or set to empty. Also, as demonstrated earlier, the mapping is case-sensitive. We have fully filled in the mapping files for this sample head. You can download this project to view it. Finally, let's take a look at the final result.